Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got this uh, rectangle A, B, C, D, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, we have uh, this quadrilateral E, F, M, N, with an area of uh, 35 square units. And as a result, four right triangles are conceived as you can see over here. And now we are going to calculate the total area of these four triangles, the green, pink, blue, and yellow triangles. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Before we proceed any further, let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. And since we are dealing with a tricky kind of problem, so we are going to be creative and think outside the box. Therefore, we are going to draw the grid line that pass through the vertices of this quadrilateral EFMN. These are our vertices E, F, M, and N. And these are our grid lines, as you can see over here. And moreover, these grid lines intersect each other at point P, Q, R, and S. And now as a result, we get these four rectangles. This is the first one. This is the second one. This is third one. And this is fourth one. So therefore, I'm going to make this rectangle completely green one this rectangle completely yellow one, this one completely blue one, and this completely the pink one. As you can see in this next diagram. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this green rectangle. Now we can see that this opposite side, these sides are equal in length, and these sides are equal as well and EN is diagonal. So therefore, these two triangles are going to be congruent triangles according to side, side, side theorem. So therefore, the area of this triangle is going to be equal to the area of this triangle. And now let's focus on this uh, yellow rectangle and we can see that we got these two congruent uh, right triangles this one and uh, this one and uh, they're going to have the same uh, area and now let's focus on this uh, blue rectangle once again these two triangles are going to have the same area and finally let's focus on this pink rectangle once again we can see the area of this triangle is going to be equal to the area of this triangle and now here's our next step. We know that this whole length DE is 5 units and this length CM is 2 units. So therefore this length is going to be 5 minus 2 is going to be 3 units. And if this side length is going to be 3 units, then these side lengths are going to be three units as well. Now let's focus on this horizontal length, this thing NC. This is seven units and this length FB is three units. So therefore this length has got to be seven minus three is going to be four units. And since this length uh, is 4 units, uh, so therefore these lengths have got to be 4 units as well. And now let's go ahead and calculate the area of this white rectangle PQRS. And now let's recall the area of a rectangle formula. Area equals to length time width. In our case, uh, our length is 4 units and our width is 3 units. So therefore, the area of this white rectangle PQRS is going to be, we are multiplying 4 times 3. That is going to give us 12 square units. 
and here's our final step let's go ahead and find the total area of all these uh, shaded uh, right triangles as you can see and the total area of all shaded triangles is going to be equal to the area of uh, this uh, quadrilateral EFMN minus the area of this uh, white rectangle PQRS and we know that the area of this uh, quadrilateral EFMN is 35 square unit that is given to us and we figured out uh, our area of this white rectangle PQRS 12 so therefore our area is going to be equal to 35 square units minus 12 square units so area turns out to be 23 square units so that's the total area of all these shaded triangles turn out to be 23 square units thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye